za mchana wa leo lakini kabla ya hayo kama ilivyokuwa desturi ni kwamba tunaanza kuangazia tumenge na ujiri katika maeneo tofauti tofauti na kama tulivyokueleza hapo jana ni kwamba msemo wa unaimdhania ndiye siye ndio picha halisi ya ushindi wa Peter Salasi alishinda uchaguzi wa ubunge katika eneo bunge la Mumias East katika kaunti ya Kakamega kwa Peter japo wengi hawakuamini angeweza bidi yake ya kufanya kampeni bila pesa na bila mbwembwe kama wanasiasa wengine ilimpa ufanisi. Nam Kasim Wanjiro ameandaa taarifa hiyo tutaipata baadaye tuelekee kwengineko ambapo washikadau katika sekta ya mazingira hii leo wanazindua mradi wa takriban shilingi milioni tatu kuhifadhi mazingira katika misitu na vyanzo vya maji kaskazini mwa bonde la Ufa. Kupata kujua mengi basi kuhusiana na shughuli hiyo tunaungana sasa na mwanahabari wetu John Wanyama ambaye yuko Eldoret ili atupashe yanayojiri kwako Wanyama. Na mwanahamisi na mashirima mnaonekana vizuri kweli mumengaa leo katika kaunti wa Siringishu huku mkiendelea kungaa hapa tunangarisha mazingira na washikadau wamefika hapa na wanasema kwamba wanazindua takriban shilingi milioni miatatu kwa kisha kwamba mradi huu wa kulinda vyanzo vya maji na misitu inakuwa sawa na shwari kabisa kwa kisha kwamba taifa hili pia liko sawa sawa ndipo sa tu, tusije tukakosa maji njoo hapa ndugu yangu unaitwa nani kwa manufaatu mtazamaji utuambie unaitwa nani siku hii ya leo nini mnafanya uh, asante sana jina langu ni Fred Kihara mimi ni mhadisi wa maji ninafanya katika shirika la the nisha conservancy uh, ikiwa mimi ndio mkurugenzi kuhusu mambo ya waterfalls katika continent yetu ya Afrika tunaendelea na mambo ya kuboresha uhifadhi na hii leo siku ya leo The Nature Conservancy tumeugana pamoja na serikali ya Kenya tumeugana pia pamoja na shirika la IFAD na tumeugana pia na kaunti zote mbili ya Uasinigishu na Elgeyo Marakwet ambao tunazidua leo Eldoret E10 Waterford hii waterford ya uh, Eldoret E10 jukumu lake kamili ni kuhifadhi chanzo penye maji hupatikana ya mji wa Eldoret na pia mji wa E10 ambazo kutoka sasa kwenda bere tunaanza mradi ambao unashirikisha community unashirikisha mambo watu wa private sector Lame. na serikali tukiugana wote kuhakikisha kwamba tunahifadhi penye maji yetu kutoka. Naam, pengine ni, ni pesa ngapi takriban siku ya leo ambayo mnaweka katika mradi huu? Ah, uh, shukrani sana. Leo siku ya leo tunazidua mradi wa miaka tatu ambao umegarimiwa uh, ume tumepata grant kutoka kwa serikali ya Kenya kutoka sida fedha nchi ya Kenya upokea kutoka nchi mtoka shirika la dunia litwaro GEF mradi wenyewe pesa zilizokuja hapa kutoka kwa huo ni shiriki kama takriban milioni mia tatu ala bazo hazwa sitaogezewa na viwago zingine na counties na washikadau wengine ndio tuweze kufa iwe kabisa kufana ile mradi naam asante sana tuzungumze pia na katibu mkuu katika wizara hii ya mazingira daktari Chris Kipto asante sana kwa kutupa fursa hii mradi huu umuhimu wake ni nini na katika taifa hili pengine hali ya misitu tuko asilimia ngapi kwa sasa hivi asilimia misitu yetu tumeweza kuisongesha kutoka kwa asilimia 5.9 wakati wa mwaka wa 2010 na sasa hivi tuko nukta 12 nukta 8 eh, asilimia 8 na nukta 7 mm -hmm. let me use english so that i can speak to kenyans better <laughs> eh, we, we have eh, I think first of all let me say we are here today because uh, we have come to launch the Eldoret E10 water fund which is uh, one of the projects that has benefited from a uh, global environmental facility which is a facility that has been uh, put up by the United Nations to support countries that are implementing environmental programs that have been agreed at global level so the, our ministry is the implement is the is a ministry that is in charge of seeing the the usage of those funds and uh, i am the focal point actually for the uh, global environmental uh, facility and i'm here therefore to oversee this project today which is a launch for a 3 million project 3 million dollar project 
which is about 320 million Kenya shillings, going through uh, implementing agency, which is IFAD, and the executing agency is, uh, is uh, the Nature Conservancy. Mm -hmm. Both of them are working on it. So, and uh, this is very much to do with uh, looking at catchment restoration. And here, this project is about two towns, uh, two uh, towns that are going to benefit, which is Iten, is a municipality, and also Eldoret municipality. And these are towns that are growing, like Eldoret is now number five in terms of uh, growth, uh, and it is the fastest growing region, uh, uh, town. The same thing for Iten. The uh, population is increasing and they require more water. And the, not just water, but clean water. So, you, therefore, you have to look at upstream, where the water is coming from. And for this project, is looking at North Mau, uh, Cherangani, and uh, also um, Elgeo Hills, which is the entire Kaptagat landscape. Yeah. And uh, so this is the project that uh, we, we have come to launch today. And you asked me about the, our forest cover, which the president in June this year launched the forest assessment report, which uh, was prepared by the Kenya Forest Service, that shows that we have made very good progress. From uh, the initial assessment of uh, 5.9 percent done in 2010, and later in 2013, which was 7.2 percent, now our forest cover has gone to 8.7 percent. And when we talk of tree cover, we have even done better because now we are above the constitutional target of 10 percent. We are now at 12.3 percent. Mm. Nam asante sana bwana PS tutakuwa tunazungumza nawe pia katika taarifa zetu za hapo baadaye lakini mwana hamisi na mashirima vile mmeweza kusikia kutoka kwa katibu mkuu huyo anasema kwamba wao wamefanya kazi nzuri sana kwa kisha kwamba misitu na mazingira yanalindwa vipasavyo ndiposa taifa hili lisiweze kukosa maji wakati ama siku za usoni na hasa katika kaunti ya Wasingishu na Ilgeo mara kwetu wanasema kwamba wanahakikisha kwamba hii pesa ambazo hii leo mradi huu umezinduliwa takriban shilingi milioni ni mia tatu basi wa Kenya na wakazi wa maeneo haya wananufaika kwenu studio na masante sana wanyama na moja kwa moja tuelekee katika eneo la